Sandy Shore here with Brian Bromberg and Kevin Eubanks at the Red, White & Blues Pasadena Jazz Festival. Kevin, great show. Great Thank set. You. Yeah, Thanks. sounded really good. I like the monkey. Oh yeah, yeah spider yeah. monkeys? Yeah. No, I like, I, I'm just digging playing outside. I love playing outside at festivals. It's really nice. You get a lot of energy from just being outdoors. And everybody's feeling good, you know what I mean? Yeah, totally. It's a beautiful day. And it's setting. Great sound system. The sound system. Oh, the setting is great. I looked up and saw the mountains up there. Yeah. Oh, man. This is bad. Yeah. It's just bad. It's really nice. But you don't live too far from here, do you? No, I live over in like um, West Hills area, not that far. Okay, it's a big LA thing, yeah. Yeah, but I come here to Pasadena a lot because I go to the Rose Bowl to swim. Oh, okay. Yeah, the pools there are great. You know, wow. Pasadena. Well, that's very cool. Now you two are label mates. Yeah, right. we just dis discovered this. Yeah, that's right. So Mac Avenue, so are you on Mac Avenue or are you on Artistry? Which which division are you on? Uh, Mac Avenue. Mac Avenue. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. We were myself and Danny Stillwell, Lucille Hunt, and Rasan Patterson. The four of us owned Artistry Records, uh -huh. and we distributed Mac Avenue. Okay. And they ended up buying our label. Okay. And absorbing our catalog, and then they went crazy and bought up all these other labels and stuff. They're a fantastic label. Really Very happy good. to be a part of them. You're in a you're in a really good home. They're great okay, people. good, good. You're gonna love it. They get it, you know, uh -huh. and uh, you get to make the music that you want to make. Speaking of it's, the music, it's great to hear you play. The band was killing. By the Thank way. you, man. Thank you. And I've been listening to you since the what the early GRP days. Woo! So way back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's nice to it's nice to hear you get out there and uh, and stretch and, and play some shall we say, real music, uh, and I don't mean that in an offensive way to anybody, but you know what I'm talking about, you, you play some really, really nice stuff, it's got to feel great for you to get out there and just play the guitar and do what you do. Oh yeah, always, you know, I mean, I'm just so happy to uh, have been where I've been, and really learning a whole lot in that situation, and, and you know, late night TV and all that, it's just a wonderful experience, oh, it's a blessing, man. you know what I mean, yeah. and now uh, getting back to... Um, Putting a record out, going on the road, right. meeting cats, playing with different people. Yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. looking so forward to it. That's and Denny said, you really want to go on the road? And I was like, yeah, man, I ain't been really touring for like 18 years. Yeah, so no I'm, I'm like the oddball that, you know, I'm like yeah. a kid ready to get out and and tour again and all that and, and all that, you know. So, so tell us about the record. What's the vibe? Who's on it? What, you know? What? Um, this is... Uh, other than the sax player, this is the band. Dan, you heard today. Okay. Um, Bill Pierce plays uh, sax with us, but he's over at uh, <laughs> he's in Boston right now. Right. And um, the music that you heard today, that's what's on the record. That's great. And you did it live. Oh yeah, that's yeah. great. Yeah. That's we we turn on the tape, we play. When it's over, it's, the it's done. Over. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God forbid, it's like the old days. Jazz musicians, it's like you hit the red button. It's like, hey, we just made a record. You know. I remember those days. No, so, that's great, man. Yeah, and we've been playing for years and years together. Yeah. It's not it like sounds, new... the, the band, you sound like a band, which is nice. It yeah. breathes, it's got a great fun. Yeah, we've been together a long time, so That's awesome. the record, I think, reflects that. I'm really happy with the energy on the record. I mean, we as musicians, we're always like, oh, man, I wish I could have done this, I wish yeah, I could have done yeah. that. But overall, just yeah. the feel of it and yeah. the gravity of it, That's great. the weight of it is, is, you know, I feel good about it. That's awesome. Well, you should, man. The band sounded great. Good luck with it. I'm, nice, I'm happy man. to see you out there doing it. Like right. I said, from listening to you for so many years, you know, in, in the past. And, and now that we're label mates, we can actually do some gigs together. Absolutely. We can do some hits, Absolutely, which man. would be really cool. Yeah. I would love it. It would be very, very cool because, you know, we, we you know our styles would work really, really well together. Cool, Plus, man. I'm a fan, so it's all good. Cool. What's the name of the new record, Kevin? Um, we haven't decided yet. Okay. We, you know, I, I had a working title, and then... Um, it's like, it's like, I don't know, Randall, saying like you got something on your mind, What's, yeah. uh, you know, and uh, so he came up with a couple other names and they sounded really good, so we don't know yet. All right, we really we'll wait for that. All right. And I know you're used to this one camera situation here <laughs> yeah. with your late night experience. Yeah, no, that's all right. One camera you can follow. When they have like four or five around, you don't yeah, it's know. It's like, where's the red light, man? So you gotta be careful, you but, know. but on the other end, when you watch this back, it's going to look big, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Tune yeah. in to smoothjazz.com, Kevin Eubanks, and Brian Bromberg. Thanks, gentlemen. My pleasure. Okay. Thanks. Thanks.